Welcome to today's episode, a very short one for that. It's about wisdom, the key to an amassing wealth. Wisdom, the key to a fulfilled life. Wisdom, the key to an amazing life. Sources, a lasting sense of fulfillment. You might wonder what is it I'm saying. But we all know life is not all about money. Life is not just being popular or being a celebrity. There is more to life. But I've come to realize many of us toil effort. We we toil like with effort. We toil so much. Yet we are not yet there. That's the word. It's not about just having a good job, a good family, a beautiful home. But within you, you know you are not yet there. We have the information. We are in a generation where we are bombarded with millions of information day in, day out, every second, every minute, every hour. There's too much how to, how to know this, know that. But that is the missing link. With all the knowledge we are acquiring, what are we implementing? Knowledge is about the accumulation of an understanding, accumulation of ideas, accumulation of concepts. Knowledge is about knowing something, but knowledge is not about doing. Wisdom is about doing. You might be so well informed about 10 strategies to make money, 10 ideas to do this, 10 successful keys to do this. Knowledge is like a bunch of keys placed in our hands. Wisdom is application of the right key. It's not just being able to identify the exact key needed to open a door, but it's about being able to manipulate. I remember finding myself in a structure. I think it was in a uh, in an hotel. I can't remember. I'm used to either using a card to open the door or using keys or locks. I never knew theirs was like a facial code. The moment you register in at the reception, you know, there was just something different about it. And you need to see me struggle for like... There was also a code you just have to, you know, just put in. It was, in fact, it was like a funny mess. That is, I am in front of the door. But I am last. Not being able to manipulate. I had to call for the attention of someone to help me. Life is full of opportunities. Life is full of ideas, things to experiment. Life is calling us. It's even calling our effort. Do this is going to propel you to greatness. You know, the sense of fulfillment of having done something. But we all lack the technicality and the diligence to make things work. We all, most of us, knows the know-how. Well, how do we apply it? Many of us, that is what we lack. We work hard, however. There is a difference between hard labor and hard work. In fact, 99.9% of us are into hard labor. Though there is a concept these days that people say work smart do not work hard. The truth is working smart will not take you far. Working smart is all about just leading you to maybe instant uh, success, instant uh, financial discovery, uh, instant gratification, instant discovery, instant amazing of material things. But the sustainability you have to work hard. To be able to sustain that thing and even pass it down to your next generation. You need to work out. Working out is about diligently working towards something productive. That is, the level of the desired productivity is directly proportional to your hard work. The moment your level of productivity is not what you truly desire, is not even compensating your competence, your skills, your capacity, sorry, you are into hard labor. Many of us, we are laboring so hard. There is a difference between laboring hard and working hard. You can labor so hard without yet obtaining that desired result, without being there. That is where you ought to be. And this is what is leading many of us into frustration, depression. And we're like, oh, but I've been doing this for years. Now we need to start seeking wisdom. Life itself is an hall of opportunities. Many die, many are buried in the grave with talent yet undiscovered, with potentials yet unexplored. It's not that they know. Maybe quite a number of them knew that they had something. But how is what they don't know. The platform for expression is what they don't know. That is where wisdom comes in. Wisdom is the principal thing. 
It has nothing to do with it's a Christian or a non-Christian, a pagan, nothing. Wisdom is the principal thing. In all I get it, get all this time. The capacity to understand and to be able to apply the right key to every opportunity before you. You can be in face of an opportunity, but when you don't know what to do, you are forever blocked. When you don't even know how to apply what you know, there's a difference between knowing something and there is a difference between the practical, we all call it theoretical and practical, yeah. You can be good at theories, but when you are not good at practical, there's nothing to show for you. Theoretical knowledge. And that is life. For the businesses you're doing, how can you scale it to the next level? Yes, you've done trainings, you've done them, but when will you start practicalizing it rightly to be able to merge each option, each idea with the right opportunity? That is why we need to take a break and start thinking. Where am I lacking wisdom? Okay, they've always said invest in yourself. Now I think I need to take a stop. I've acquired so many information. But how do I really need to sit and dig deep, diligently, diligently work out to put this into practice? It's not all about knowing. It's about doing to multiply your results. We start. See you next time.